Hi everyone, this is Lorraine, and you're gonna have to start introducing yourself. <laughs> I like it when you do it for me. I know. Um, and this, for me. This is Brian, and uh, I thought we'd do another video today. Um, people were very happy to learn, like they called it my ultimate secret basically, like that you were a hairstylist. Um, they would have never guessed. And my favorite guesses were that you were like in IT or computers. Because that's the funniest, because Brian is terrible at computers and technology, and um, he should never, ever be allowed to be in front of those things. A lot of people guess car, and Brian's dad, it makes sense, because Brian's dad owns an auto body shop, and so when I filmed him on the weekends, I would a lot of times film him in the auto body shop. So it made sense for you to guess that. So it's just all about like, perception, I guess. Um, but he is a hairstylist, and a lot of people asked how you got into hair. Truthfully? Yeah, you, they give you the honest truth. Honest truth is mainly my parents. They own a construction company. They actually designed several salons in town here, Sarasota. And just helping him, being around the industry and the people, they're always happy and having fun and indoors and it's exciting and I can't sit behind a desk I constantly have to be moving and doing stuff with my hands so it was a good area for me to go into and also I don't know if this is everywhere that you live but in Florida at least in our area as far as I know you can do in high school you can do half the day going to regular classes and half the day going to vocational school and so then you're still in high school and you can get your cosmetology degree. So that is what he did. I just got elected so I didn't do PE, art, or anything like that, but I still had to do the standard math, English stuff. Yeah, so I think like, I think that that's like kind of a great thing. And so if like our kids go to like public school and stuff, I kind of would like them to um, develop some kind of skill like that. I think it would be great just to get all the education that you actually need, all the credits that you need, but also have a, kill, a skill set behind you as well. So, like, I, knew I wasn't gonna go to college, so but I didn't I, really want to waste time. But even if they go to college, like I think it'd be great like if they wanted to be like an engineer, and then you went and you were able to be like a um, contractor because you went to vocational school. That's funny. Like, you know what I mean? Like have that background. It I think it'd be nice. like a good thing. Um, so Brian went just straight out of high school, <laughs> straight out of high school and became a hairstylist. And he, the nice thing about Brian is he's not like, you obviously see he's not a flashy person, he's not a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you're confident but you're not full of yourself. Yeah, you don't have, what is that, what, like he doesn't have a big ego. Yeah. Like you, you don't necessarily, so when he got out of hair school, he wasn't like, hey, I'm the best. I need to be working immediately like um, as a stylist because I'm that great. He worked as an assistant first. Um, and so, but he worked as an assistant at a very high-end, well-known salon in Sarasota too. So he's continued to grow his career in high-end salons. And so it's not like he, there's a lot of people that would go straight out of like the cosmetology and think like, hey, I'm great. I need to be working immediately. But he went the right route, and I think that that is a good example for other people is if you are going to cosmetology or school and you want to continue on the path to greatness, even if you think you're already great, you should work under someone that you, you can um, uh, look up to and they're your mentor and everything. And so I think that like Brian had a really good mentor to begin with, right? That first year of assisting was miserable, but I assisted both the owners every other day because they worked separate days and stuff and I learned everything that I could from them. I still see them around town, still see them at events and everything, so it's awesome. The list that I work for, they're awesome. They all have their highs and their lows in certain things. I have my lows in some things. I'm not perfect. But, I know it. <laughs> but I think that that's like a big deal is that you didn't think that you were great and you needed to go and be like... Oh, yeah. I'm still learning today. And that's like an important thing with a hairstylist is to continue your education even when you are 
um, done with hair school, it's not done. So there's different things in this industry like um, learning, but it's just like you probably learned most of the stuff that you know from like basics, like from what you. Yes and no. But don't you think like a lot of times it's like revamping, like Other like classes, like like or just in general everything. Just kind of like everything. It's either you have it or you don't, honestly. Because there's this one girl that I knew, she went to all these like high classes at the Dell Set suit, paid thousands and thousands. And she still kind of cut a straight line. Yeah, so it is, it's but just, it's, but like you being an assistant initially is learning experience yeah, in itself learning, too. But so you, you still have to have. You have, have to have the gift. It's, it's like either. Like, well, what it, if you were to say like your specialty, like he does men, women, children, he does everything. Um, but like your, your specialty, I think is like cutting. Yeah. Like he's, Shorter hair cuts. he's so good at cutting. Like it's impressive to watch him cut because, um, I don't know. He's just really good at it. He's really good at cutting. What was that one cut that Victoria Beckham cut? Like back in the day. Oh, was I, the like yeah that stacked angle I that was my largest clientele built base was off of that because I had it like perfect and even all those clients today I still cut but different styles and everything but it was that one cut that like got you a lot of clientele in Sarasota because <laughs> you were able to get that cut that's that no stacking case. I guess in the back would be like if you didn't get it right I've seen a lot of bad haircuts with that it's tough but I built a huge clientele off of that cut. But I thought I'd like give that little bit of information <laughs> for Brian. Um, and if you want to ask more in, in questions, then he'll be more than uh, happy to ask. I've done like a couple Instagram stories and like people were like so happy to hear you talk. Um, Not quite. You just have to ask the right question. Like that's honestly all it is. Like if I ask him a question and I don't ask the right thing, he won't answer it. But if you ask him the right question, he'll go into depth like just a little bit more. <laughs> And then if you can give him a follow-up question, he'll go into it a little bit more. Exactly. So it's all about asking Brian the right question. And if you want anything done to her hair, let me know. Yeah, Thank we're going to do some videos of him doing things to my hair. Um, probably the boy's hair too because... Um, school. Easy modeling and everything. Like when, he go, when Graham goes to school, you can see how he cuts his hair and everything. Um, products that he uses, things like that. Um, and then what else was I going to say? Um, that's it about that for now. If anyone like has any questions about that, but then um, another question that we got asked a lot was if that is the working in hair is how we met, and it kind of is. Pretty much it is. But he wasn't my stylist at the time. I he his, my stylist at the time was a good friend of his. Um, Worked at the same salon. At the same salon. And, um, and uh, I ended up going through a breakup and he invited me over to his house. And then uh, Brian was good friends with his partner as well. So then they were gonna go out and go to like Ybor City. Do people still go to Ybor City? Oh, yeah. um, I, and so they are like, oh, come with us to Ybor. And that's how we met. Well, it's not that we met. We still saw each other in between, but that's how we like officially started like seeing yeah, each I other. I had seen him like previous to that for a long time. Out at the bars. Yeah, we we'd run into each other and we'd say hello and everything, but that's like I don't know. We'd see each other at a place called Smoke and Joe's in Sarasota, which I absolutely love. I do too. I miss it. I miss it too. <laughs> Smoke and Joe's is an awesome bar. I haven't been there in years, so I don't know if it's still like that but I like going to bars on n weekdays not on weekends and he was like similar so we'd run into each other on the weekdays when we'd go to bars we'd talk briefly and then we'd go and do our separate things <laughs> what? that's remembering <laughs> good times yeah yeah what else Brian what else should we add I have no idea I'm not good at talking I know, it's, I have to ask him the right question. But I've had a lot of people ask about our products and they've asked about, so I've got to do a whole video on products. So just if you can put the questions all in one spot, that's great, so post them below. Um, but yeah, he gave me a little bit of a, a glaze the other day and basically a glaze is a toner. I kept seeing everything on the internet about glossing 
And I guess like when you do glossing, you don't use ammonia, but ammonia is like makes it hold better. So um, I don't know. I need a little fresh, fresh enough. I haven't. Ha I had my hair colored probably two or three weeks ago. Highlights. Um, and so it was just like a little like freshening up little thing to get the glaze and it turned out really nice We just have hard water here, so it just turns so yellow with so much chlorine that we have. Yeah So I don't know I kind of want to go back to like the old days where I just like did a solid hair color So I like to I like to mess with Brian make it like difficult for him back. So we're gonna end this video <laughs> Goodbye Bye.